Hey, this is Rubber Cheese. I've got a Coleman Extreme wheeled cooler, um, and one of the wheels has fallen off. So I'm just fixing it myself. I thought I'd make a little video of how to do it. It's really cheap. It's going to cost me about $2 using parts from the local hardware store. So if we spin the cooler around, um, you can see how Coleman attaches their wheels. They use this little press fit thing here, um, but they don't sell these pieces and they don't provide them. And according to their warranty people, it takes like a month to get a new cooler or to get your cooler fixed. So I thought I'd just do it myself. So we can pop the whole shaft off just by pulling on it. And before making this video, I went ahead and I drilled a 3 32nd inch uh, hole into the axle. I drilled it as close to the edge as I really could, um, but I wanted to keep a little bit of material between the hole and the edge. So I went to the hardware store and I bought two things. I bought a fender washer, uh, it's a 5 16 inch hole. So that once we put this axle back through the cooler, I'll be able to put the wheel on like this, put the fender washer on like that, and then I bought some 332nd inch cotter pins. Um, the ones I bought are inch and a half long. It's really way too long, but it's the smallest one that they had. So it'll go through there, and then I'm just going to bend this once I put it in. So. Let's put it in the cooler and see how it works. Okay, so I'm just going to pop the wheel on. And you can see the little hole right here. I'm going to get the fender washer, stick it in place. Now I'm going to put my cotter pin through. I'm just going to pop this off, give you a little bit better of a look. And so the fender washer was about 50 cents, and a pack of 20 cotter pins was, I think, $1.70. So if you can find shorter cotter pins, that'd be awesome. Just like I say, my store only had inch and a half. So I'm just going to take it, I'm going to grab some pliers, bend these back, and then I think I'll clip off the excess. So there we go, that's sort of good enough. Um, before I use it, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and clip these off. But I mean, for now, it works great. And just to zoom into the actual wheel itself. So it doesn't look quite as good, but considering it costs $2, when the whole assembly, which is what you'd have to buy from Coleman, costs about $11 US plus shipping, plus waiting, this is probably the easiest way to go. So hopefully this helps you out if you have the same problem with your cooler. All right, so I've just gone ahead and trimmed it off. It is a little bit sharp, it might catch things. You can probably do a little bit better job cleaning it up, but I'm pretty happy with it the way it is. So again, I used a 5 16th inch fender washer, and then I used a 3 32nd inch cotter pin. Um, that's the size of hole that I drilled through, and that seems to be a pretty good size. Um, if you could find a shorter cotter pin, probably an inch would be better. Mine was an inch and a half, and I had to trim off quite a lot of excess. Hey, so after I made my fix, I'm noticing a little bit of rattling as I wheel the, the cooler. What that is, is the cotter pin bouncing off of the, um, off the washer. So I think what I'm going to do is just jam something in there, just so that I don't have metal on metal contact. Um, maybe I'll, or maybe I'll take off the cotter pin and just put in like a little piece of cardboard or just something that's soft to prevent that from happening. 
So while you're doing yours, you might just want to think about that as well.